Uh, grr, drool, 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 drool. Uh, hello, <laughs> Nate and Beth stopping on by. Coming at you once again to review Friday the 13th, the series. In this case, we're talking about... Uh, season 2, episode 15, Better Off Dead. So, I don't know if it's just because I'm depressed because of the coming winter or if the episodes have been kind of crap, but this one didn't do a lot for me. I'm not a big drool guy. There's a lot of drool going on in this. Especially Exorcist. towards the end. Exorcist type style. Uh, Exorcist stuff kind of stuff. and it's The, the only thing I thought was kind of interesting is the bad guy is kind of... Not <laughs> bad per se. He's, she's just trying to fix something he screwed up. So the bad guy isn't this deviant bad guy. He's kind of a nice bad guy. Maybe one of the nicer bad guys I can remember seeing. Okay. Before I turn it over to you, I'll just briefly mention that this episode revolves around this guy, medical guy, who accidentally left, a, I guess, a, some kind of childhood virus infected needle in the reach of his daughter, and she ended up, like, what kid is going to, you know, find a needle and, and, and poke it into themselves. That kind of makes no Might sense. Might just but. touch the tip of it. Yeah, I suppose. But anyway, this this guy, this doctor guy gets his daughter infected with this exorcist Reagan virus. And, and as a result, he has to tie her to the bed. And They had a, a name for the disease. Just childhood Rage, we'll just call it for now, but there's an actual name that they call it in the in the series episode. And she it's like they lose their human half, their soul per se, and um animals don't possess it either and So before social media she got the social media disease, okay. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> But uh, this guy was trying to f find a cure with animals, and it did. There wasn't anything, so he goes around and I guess with the syringe that. Uh, oh, this the syringe is the cursed item. The syringe is the cursed item that his doctor friend slash ex partner collected from the the store before Curious Goods took over. I can't remember the name of the guy. Good. Anyway, so long story short, Too this <laughs> uh, cursed item is a needle that can pretty much take the soul out of the lower hemisphere of the brain through the neck. He and sticks just the needle in super long needle. Uh, underneath the chin and I guess it gets into the brain. Beth can't wrap her mind around that, but it extracts well, the fluid. Well, considering there's a little small thing at the base of your neck that allows you access to so the So when you put syringes in the brain, you go through the back of the neck, okay. Yeah, that's easier for me. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't call this episode extremely entertaining. There are what, four deaths? Yeah, we won't call them kills. Four deaths, um, yeah. Because the cursed the, item really doesn't the, kill people. Inclu including the killer. Yeah, I, for, I, for, for me, I think right now, I don't know if this is the third or fourth, maybe, maybe it's just the second or third episode in a row that kind of doesn't do a whole hell of a lot for me. It might be the second or third one. Not far back was Playhouse, and I like that. Playhouse but. was nice. It might be the set. Quickly look and see how yeah. many is it after Playhouse. It's uh, the eye, Playhouse Eye of Death, Face of Evil, so three. Oh, okay. So the, so maybe for me the last three have been kind of duds. But the reason I don't really like this is just because it's just depressing to see this guy kidnap women, tie them down, and, and, and just stick the needle in them. And, you know, then... then it's then like he, he waits until they're awake to put the needle. Like, why can't he just do it while they're well, still asleep? Well, I think asleep? that's explained because the, the, the emotion guides him to the point he needs to extract it or something like uh, that. okay. But, yeah, this episode's mostly just depressing to me. And the, the one thing, you know, being a classical music enthusiast, I don't know what piece this is. Even if I did the, the classical 
music, the, the, the names of them are so unrememberable, just like, you know, anyway, it's, it's so much easier nowadays when you can remember something like, you know, Ghetto Gangster Bitch or whatever, that's more, anyway, <clears throat> it's a classical piece of music that goes, he, this guy plays over and over WC. Whenever, whenever he's... It's a WC piece. Whenever uh, he's d searching for prostitutes or performing his operation, it's like a really calming piece of music. So that was one of the aspects that I did like about... Of course, maybe this episode ruined that piece of music for <laughs> me, but... Oh, come on. Yeah, it's just depressing because this guy screwed up his daughter and he's trying to cure the daughter by, you know, kidnapping whores and taking out their fluid and injecting it into the daughter and at one point just to make one more body count in the episode the the guy who is his partner with or I guess he's working for this guy and he, he gets was. fired he during fired. the episode that guy sends this has a court order to send this nurse to make sure he doesn't do anything more to the daughter and if she goes down the stairs for a extra body count and yeah nothing about this um really does much for me unfortunately and I don't think we're gonna be able to talk 13 minutes about this but you're trying so hard right now <laughs> this might not even make 10 minutes um I don't know it Mickey gets herself well Mickey's friend is in replacement oh, one of, the, of one of the prostitutes who gets away so Mickey's looking for her friend and finds her in this dungeon not strapped to a table and I she gets I put into a cage herself. Remember, the friend end up dead or do we not know? I can the never The friend remember. ends up dead because he takes a little part of the brain. Oh, and, that's oh, right. Yeah, he, like, he saws a hole into her brain. So many more people are going to live because of this. I just need the missing piece that he tries to take from Mickey and I guess Mickey ends up getting it back because, you know, yeah, the first item is holding that's it. That's another thing that's a little goofy. Like, Mickey you know, gets the stuff taken out of her brain, so she turns into Exorcist, Monster Reagan, Mash, Demon, goes Evil Dead. after Ryan. Yeah, and they, it's funny because Ryan punches Mickey, I think, when she's all exorcising mm -hmm. out. But, yeah, they, they don't, you know, they, they don't, don't really explain, explain how she got better, but I guess he, they just put the... They had to who the back. hell would have done that? Jack and, and Ryan Jack. put the needle back into her brain and give her back well, her Ryan fluid? Well, Ryan knocked her out. So Jack yeah, probably put the that, needle back that's in. That's why they didn't talk about it at all, because it would have been so stupid, like, oh, I never knew you could put a needle into a brain and inject a fluid where it needed to go, Ryan. Neither did I, but it worked out great. It just kind of... You're really trying to make this 13 minutes, aren't you? And then he <laughs> said, I ain't going to be able to do it. But, yeah, the, the ending is kind of goofy with, like, they just... <laughs> Mickey just miraculously survives after being turned into a, a mindless, raving maniac. Not mindless, just animal instincts taken over. All he's doing is taking out the human part of the soul. So, um... <laughs> I guess I can go as high as a notch up from a full thumb down, so it'd be like, you know... Oh. <laughs> around... Seven? Seven or eight, yeah, somewhere around seven or eight. So just a step up from uh, a full down thumb on this. It's just depressing. And, uh, yeah, what's <laughs> where's your thumb? I would say more like a half of a thumb because it was kind of entertaining to watch Mickey kind of destroy drool? Ryan. Oh. oh, you've always wanted to see Mickey drool. And... I wouldn't really call it drool. I would more call it strategically placed saliva <laughs> well yeah I guess but it was kind of fun watching uh, her, her fighting Ryan and her Jack Ryan I don't think she really fought Jack and there was a lot unexplained a lot of a lot of filler but a lot of pieces not quite in place I'm hoping this series gets a little bit better with the next episode being the Scarlet Cinema and... Yeah, what would we guess? Uh, maybe a, a cursed roll of film or something or a projector. 
I would think a projector might be cursed. But they already kind of did that with that lantern in that Civil War one. And but what did. the what the hell? Do it again differently. Well, it's not really a lantern. It's the actual projector, which whatever film. Oh, what if the film you put on it comes to life? It'd be. Ooh. It'd be fun to have like a, a cursed clapboard. <laughs> hey, Ooh. it'll chop off your neck when it claps down. Well, it'd have to be something with... Movie related, related, you think. Yeah, we, we, at first I thought of a theater, but you can't have a whole cursed theater that someone bought at the store, so... Yeah, maybe a could, seat. I just thought of that. It <laughs> could be a seat, so maybe it's a theater seat. Well, until next time, we won't know until we watch it, so... In closing, the, the <laughs> one thing that I did appreciate about this depressing shit episode was... the was, ending? Well, when it was over, but... <laughs> but the, 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 the you know, the quote-unquote bad guy was as far from bad as you can be. Like, he was, well, he was a nice guy. Yeah. And even he wasn't even nice to the victims, so it, yeah. it was kind of... I appreciated the fact that he was uh, not some kind of just deranged killer oh we should probably mention that the syringe was supposedly property of jack the ripper who what? only yeah he was a doctor that would explain why his victims that were might... only prostitutes it was mentioned by jack in the episode he was probably asleep which is why they went to the main doctor's office because he collected antiquities of... okay wow Excuse me of falling asleep and you don't even catch the small details. I'm not good at picking up small details, details through dialogue. Yeah, so this, the syringe was supposedly owned by Jack the Ripper, which is why probably the assistant was drawn to go to prostitutes and um, could have been a pull from the cursed item. We're so close to 13 minutes. How do we wrap this up to make it 13 minutes? I don't know. Well, we might get our first dusting of snow that stays tomorrow. Of course, when this is published, That's you don't know when That's more depressing tomorrow. than the episode. Yeah, we might. <laughs> Besides, what if they listen to this in the springtime? Well, when this is uploaded, we might get our first dusting of snow that <laughs> lasts. Anyway, that's why one of the many reasons I'm depressed. I won't go into the other ones, but I think we made it to 13. <laughs> Almost. Quite, quite possibly. What are you depressed about? I'm just trying to make you happy again and trying to keep this at 13 minutes. Well, and, looks uh, like we did get to 13. Yay! So thank you for putting up with us with our own filler for this uh What's it called? You can call it an episode. I guess well, it's I an guess it's, it's a review episode. Yeah, this and, review. Thank and before you. we hit 14 minutes. <laughs> Thank you for listening. We hope uh, to hear you. Well, hope you listen again next week. So do I. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>